Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. I am posing as a tropical goddess today. I am actually really excited about this hairstyle. I was just kind of playing around. And honestly, this is about to be my summer 2019 look. This took me literally two minutes. Literally two products, really one product. One is a DIY, which y'all probably already know what that is. I just love this. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly how I created this, just from a regular fro to this. But just before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please go ahead and do so. The button's just right down there, I think. I think it's somewhere. Just help your girl out, and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll know every single time a new video is dropped. Perfect, thank you very much for hitting that subscribe button. Now let's get started. All right, so I'm starting with completely like fully dry, fluffy curls. You kind of want some volume for this hairstyle, so I would recommend you start out with fully dry curls. So first things first, I am gonna grab my DIY spray. This is just a mixture of conditioner and water in a spray bottle, and that's it. The conditioner that I like to use is One Condition Decadence, just because that conditioner is super lightweight, super milky, and you kind of want like a lighter conditioner when you're mixing it for a DIY spray so it's like not too thick so yeah I'm just gonna start by spraying up my edges and just brushing them back to kind of just prep my edges for the style all right so my hair looks a little crazy right now but just bear with me okay so next so this is a hair tie that I bought from Amazon it's a lot thicker than the average hair tie I swear by these I will never buy a normal hair tie ever again these are amazing for holding large curly hair which is exactly what I have this one is a little bit stretched out you kind of want to use one that's already stretched out because we're really just going to loop this into the hair one time you want this ponytail to be super super loose so we can get like real intense crazy volume on the top of our pineapple so you're gonna want to make this ponytail like super high because it's a pineapple you want it to be like on the very top of your head so just bring it as forward like close to your forehead as possible so this is just gonna show like the importance of that stretched out large hair tie like this is giving us so much volume in our poof. If we use a hair tie that's smaller, it'll be a lot tighter and you get a lot less volume on the top. And again, for this, you want all the volume. Okay, so don't worry if your hair is still kind of short like mine. You might have some little straggly pieces here in the back. We finna fix that. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray the back and brush it up. But again, it doesn't need to be super neat because the bandana is gonna cover all of that. Okay, so next I am just gonna grab a fun little tropical inspired bandana. So you know like right when you're about to cash out, they have all these cute little knickknacks. They have this bandana, it caught my eye. It was just so beautiful and bold, I love it. So I ended up just picking it up on a whim. All right, so I'm just gonna start by folding this into a triangle like so, and then place it on the back of my head with the triangle facing up. Then we're just gonna go ahead and tie it in the front. All right, so you can choose to leave these out as part of the style, just, you know, little flipper floppers, but I think I am gonna go ahead and just tuck these underneath here. Ta-da, see, sis, it's coming along, it's coming along. So I think I want a little bit more hair towards the front, so I'm literally just gonna use my hands and just kind of fluff it out and shape my pineapple in the way I want it. And again, because your hair tie is so loose, it just gives you a lot of flexibility with just kind of like fluffing this bad boy all the way out. All right, and then for this little dangly piece in the back from the bandana, I'm just gonna go ahead and all right, so for this dangly piece in the back here, I'm just gonna go ahead, flip it upwards, and then tuck it into the hair tie so you can't see like that little awkward tail hanging out in the back. Okay, hello, pineapple, yes. All right, so we're not gonna stop here. The last thing, y'all know we need to lay these edges. 
So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and prep them by spraying my DIY spray again. And then I am gonna grab my edge control and get it popping. So for edge control, I'm gonna use my new all-time favorite edge control. That is the Camille Rose Lavender Edge Glaze. I love this. It's like not too stiff, so I can still get a lot of nice movement and design with my edges. But then once it's on there, your edges aren't gonna move all day. And I also find that this gives my edges like a nice little shine, like a sleek to it. This collection has lavender essential oil in it, so I just, I love this. And I just really love Camille Rose. I trust that brand 100% the ingredients they use, so I'm not worried about it ruining my edges at all at the same time. Boom! Now all we need to complete this look are like some big hoops. Ta-da! I absolutely love this look. This is so timely because this is going to be one of my go-tos for summer. Your hair is off your neck. You're still looking cute. You've got the tropical vibes in the bandana. Like, I just love absolutely everything about this hairstyle, especially the fact that it is so easy. This literally took me like two minutes to do. This is just a really cute and fun way to just spice up your look, okay? And don't forget the hoops. Don't forget the hoops. Shout out to the finishing touch. That is where I got these hoops from. These are actually sourced from Jamaica. I love this look, y'all. And I hope you guys are loving it too. If you are, go ahead and let me know in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed this, please, please support your girl. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get a notification every time a new video drops. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this. I will catch you in my next video. Bye.